Hey all this and all this. welcome back to more Let's Play Dark Souls Remastered. And so we're going to continue on where we left off. Uh, and yeah, so this is going to be end up being a long recording session. Well, three plus that one. I feel that we're making like enough progress, you know. So yeah, I mean, we're making way faster progress than I made on the, on the main file, all things considered, you know, like... Like we're still under 10 hours, which is pretty pretty amazing. To be honest, yeah, a lot is due to the Black Knight Halberd, like that's the thing, like, you know, there are ways to kind of make the game easy. I mean, I mean, yes, we do take a lot of damage if we get hit, you know, that's still the thing. I mean, the straight even at our level wasn't really, really easy, you know, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy pattern, but he won't always cooperate, you know, and that's the thing. Just taking so it doesn't zoom in, and it does not. I figured out a way to kind of lock this thing in place a bit more and that probably makes it so it doesn't like vibrate as much and that probably prevents it from doing that zooming thing. So one thing I thought about is, one thing I don't want to try out and see if I can do is she's the dog or she's the great wolf. I know there is a way to do it and I think I remember how it is but I will first try and do this thing with the dragons here. So supposedly the thing you do with the dragons is you need to have a strong enough weapon and then use backstab and do a plunge attack and then you can kill supposedly all of the dragons. I don't remember did we kill the undead dragon on this character or not? I mean we probably could at this point I believe do tar spells. Correct, because this is the path that is to yeah, the value of this. Correct? Because see, you run there up the tower there, you like you run past all of these dudes. You run past all the uh, dragons. And it's supposedly not really that hard to run past all of them. I don't know if that door ever opens. I always wish that that door would open, but I wonder where that door is supposed to be. Please, 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 come, come, come. There's a thing like they will all go under here. If done correctly, they should all like come up. A command there, and then you should just be able to back step and then like kill all of them. Because there is an item here first that you want. You want this item, red hairstone ring. You could of course mod and do with the red hairstone ring setup. So let's see here. Boom, boom, plunge attack. Boom. That did not work. We are still alive. So that almost worked those to survive for some reason. Like see that's the whole concept of it. Basically you I mean that was a lot of souls immediately. short elevator right to be honest. Oh wow we lost all that humanity really. Like see that's the thing I don't get like I've seen people die and then like they lose zero humanity or whatever like that it caps out somehow at certain level said and oh now it cannot go below there but what decides if that happens or not? Because honestly I've seen it happen or maybe those people or or seeing in games or I don't know, like I don't know what decides humanity and you know, stuff that like what decides how much you lose. Because I've seen people die and like not lose any humanity at all. If it requires you to be human, if it if it depends on the death type. That's the brilliant armor, that's actually very good. I mean, so technically, even if we die here, like that's the thing, like I should use the dodge away and like run away if if that happens and then just try and repeat the thing. So let's just drink for quickly first. Be full health. Make sure we're full health. And then. Okay, we did survive. Wow, a thousand each? 
Are you insane? Why didn't I aggro this? Why didn't I aggro this one? Hey, come on. Come on over here. I am over here. I know you want my delicious ass. Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> Backpedaling dragons. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Seriously, are you gonna keep doing that? You son of Stop doing that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Okay, now let's inspect the door and see. <coughs> Is there anything you do with the door? No. I mean, it looked like it would open when something happens. I wonder if that must meant to be like DLC or something like that at one point. But they didn't do anything with it. I wonder where this would lead on. I mean, it's some kind of castle thing, obviously. <sighs> that doesn't open. Right? I would always... Okay, I would have a theory where it could lead. Alright, this guy, this guy is a bit annoying to deal with. Like, I probably want to have a more wider space. Can we make him like... How, how far do you follow me? Okay, this is really, really good. I mean, that was not really good. It was really bad. Hopefully those souls won't be too hard to pick up. Alright, I wanna test. I wanna see how much damage I do with the heavier soul arrow thing. I wanna test how much damage it is with the... One thing I wanna test out also is for example if I use the longbow. <coughs> if I use the longbow, if I would upgrade the longbow. Like how much damage is it? Like with the arrows. Fellow arrows aren't good, right? Basically, the like the tear stone setup that you do. Otherwise, there's like a tear stone setup you can do, which makes things easier, you know, obviously. There's a tear stone thing setup you do, like it's called it's called a RT RTS setup red tear stone. Like I don't know why it's called RTS S or if it's like red. TS is for tear stone, but I mean like why is it just RTR, whatever, but, but it's RTS. Which basically you like hurt yourself often by falling, and then basically... But I mean, won't it trigger when you do, when you do the fall, won't it trigger via that? I'm curious, will it trigger via this? Boots attack when HP is low. So won't that count them when I fall down? Like won't it like trigger? I imagine if I set up with this weapon, like the damage is probably gonna be insane. I wonder how good that defense buff is though. I wanna test of course the spells first. Hopefully I won't die from this dragon like immediately that that this is just too slow and then I die from one hit. I hope that does not happen. How far can I shoot from? Thank you, I just want my souls, please. I just want my soul. 
Thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, we have the RTS all set set up now, and now we don't have it. You saw there, the ring that shows up. Means you did a lot of damage. When a purple thing shows up there, uh, you basically... I think it's a 60% damage increase or a 30% or whatever. Which, you know, is insane at this point. Considering the damage we're doing with these weapons, so... It's really, really good. I mean, it's definitely worth this grind, to be honest. I mean, yeah. I mean, I didn't want to lose the souls there. That's the thing, like, if I lose the souls, now that's... I mean, yeah, I did grind the souls pretty, pretty quickly, but yeah. I shouldn't have tried to go on for the other dragon there and just, like, try to kill it and stuff like that. I mean, it's probably possible, especially if I would go, like, with, you know, like, with some better armor or some... Oh, I wonder if I can wear any of the Brigand set pieces, because they're pretty, pretty decent armor-wise. I wonder if I can wear. Okay, that's still too slow. No, no. Begun glove is 1.8. Begun armor is 3.1. Begun hood is 1.2. 1.8, 1.2. The hood. Okay, the hood still lets us faster. Oh, that's nice then. Back here. Really, I was hoping that the. Uh, why does it have to be so far away? Yeah, see, so we're not really that hard to deal with. I want to check here though. Yeah, that dragon is still there. That dragon is actually worth killing. I don't want to try and kill that. Let's see if we can get more lucky here this time. Yes, that's what we want to see. And that was close though. I'm curious about this thing, you know, because I know it is a lot of damage. But if we can kill this, then like that's quite a lot of souls, I believe, if we kill it. I don't know how effective spells is on it though. And this is like a mini boss, you can also encounter it in the painted world. Oh bullshit. Is that the Eden suit even? Oh, you can't reach me, can you? I know it has a swipe, I know, I know, I know. And the swipe can basically one-shot me if he decides to swipe. But maybe he's locked into doing this when you're like here. I will definitely to switch to the bow now once I'm out of spells. I should probably get one more attunement though so I can have, have the lighter arrows, like two of the lighter arrows. Let's use the uh, long bow then. This should be good enough. I don't think it was bleed damage on this, I don't think. I mean, our TSR setup would probably work with this though. This is very silly. I mean, we're not gonna have enough ammo. So we're gonna need one slash at least with the black knight thing. Let's let me figure out here. Let me check here first, do we have anything I could throw on it? And basically I know if he hits us we're dead.
person. Damn it. Okay, I'm pretty certain if we go with the lower soul arrow, we could probably kill it. Or if we just have enough ammo for the bow. find the sources catalyst helps right. I don't think it does. Let's go back to the middle. I mean if we kill that dragon I believe it's I think it's I didn't I don't know why I killed it on my main character. I think I did. I'm pretty certain I did. <laughs> what if I didn't? But I believe it's... I think it's 5,000 at least. It's probably 10,000. 